Hello and thank you for tuning into this week's Mayor's Update. As always, we have a lot of important information to share with you here this week, so please feel free to share this video with your friends, family, relatives, and anyone else who you think might find this information helpful over the course of the coming week. Some of you may remember last summer we did have a couple film crews here in the city to uh, film a commercial for the city that will air on the TV show Viewpoint with Dennis Quaid. We have been notified that that will air sometime in mid-April on PBS. However, the city has received its two promotional videos that came as a result of that filming and we will be releasing those uh, within the coming days. So please keep an eye out on the city's website and Facebook page uh, to see when those get posted. One is about 30 seconds long and the other is about three minutes. We will be likely posting the three minute one since the 30 second commercial is a condensed version of that there. But uh, they came out excellent and I want to thank everyone who came out and volunteered their time to potentially be uh, showed in those commercials. It was really a uh, fun community event that we were able to put on together, so thank you all very much, and I hope you enjoy the videos once we're able to post them and uh, share those around. So thank you all very much. We want to let people know that there may be some activity on Central Street in the coming weeks. Unitil has notified the city that after TVing the gas lines on Central Street uh, that there are some repairs that need to be made. So they will be digging in the streets from the convenience store located by the lofts at 30 Pine all the way up through the Uptown Rotary to repair their gas line. Now there are portions of this place that were recently paved as part of our water line improvement project. However, it is the city's policy that if a utility company comes in and digs up the road within the past five years after we've just paved it, they owe us an equivalent amount of funding to pave the road from curb to curb from the place that they uh, dug into the street in order to maintain the integrity of the street as we uh, meant to it in our paving procedures. So uh, Unitail will be paying the city an equivalent amount to pave from curb to curb where they are digging for that new gas line. While we are speaking of paving, the uh, downtown areas will start to be paved the third week of April and, uh, excuse me, the third week of May, uh, the downtown areas beginning on Parker Street will begin to be paved. And then we've also been notified by the Massachusetts Department of Transportation that Pearson Boulevard from the Rotary to just past Williams Restaurant will be paved beginning on May 1st. So milling crews will be out in that area beginning May 1st. And DOT has also notified us that beginning in June of 2022, so June of this year, through June of 2023, there will be several detours as DOT will be investing $9.4 million in repaving Route 2 from the Pearson Boulevard exit all the way through the last Lemonster exit. Uh, so crew, uh, traffic will be detoured through the city of Gardner uh, and through several other locations to get around those detours when paving and uh, milling begins. Uh, so please keep an eye out beginning this June through next June when those detours occur, excuse me, occur so that uh, you can plan your travel accordingly, particularly if you drive Route 2 to get to work every day. The City Council this past week did approve all of the ordinance proposals that were on its agenda. Uh, so there are changes to the Animal Control Ordinance, the Outdoor Dining and the Blighted Building Ordinances are now fully passed into law with my signature here in the city, as well as... Uh, different other proposals that were put in place in terms of our building, uh, building permit fees and fire inspection fees. So if you have any questions on anything that was voted on at that city council meeting or anything that the city council has undertaken in the past couple of meetings or in the future, always please feel free to give my office a call at any time and we're happy to answer any questions on the details that you may have on those. Uh, we understand that when the city council receives its ordinance proposals, they may be kind of confusing to understand if you don't see the full ordinance picture there. Uh, so we're certainly happy to answer any of those questions if you have them. I want to congratulate the students of Elm Street School on a successful uh, musical this past year for their first time in three years uh, with the uh, musical Frozen. Thank you very much to Miss uh, Kathy McKay, who is the uh, long-term music teacher over at Elm Street School, uh, who is also the director of that drama program that's there for an excellent show. And congratulations to our students on putting on their first performance in uh, over two years after the pandemic shutdowns. I want to welcome a couple of people into the downtown. Last year, excuse me, last week, we talked about how Candor Realty uh, had put some large investments in the downtown. Uh, I'd like to also welcome Mr. Ryan Corcoran, uh, who is in agreement to purchase the Gothier building that housed uh, the old Cruisers malt shop that's now Gardner, th uh, Gardner Thrift Shop, all the way down around to Hometown Barbers, uh, who is a uh, real estate investor who will be taking over the ownership of that building very shortly, as well as Mr. Tony Molina, who has fully purchased the 
uh, old wheel and supply buildings and the old Gardner News building as well. Uh, we invited them to the Square, te uh, Square 2 annual meeting this past week as well, where they got to meet and interact with several of the different local business community members here and talk about their ways in which they're hoping to revitalize the area uh, and really re uh, reinvigorate those buildings to revitalize our downtown and breathe some new life into the area with some new stores and commercial ventures. Uh, Candor Realty, Mr. Corcoran from Specialized Realty Group, and Mr. Molina from Molina Realty are all interested in hearing your thoughts as to what stores and shops you'd like to see in your downtown. So if you're interested in getting in touch with them, please feel free to contact my office at any time and we can certainly put you in touch with those individuals. Uh, last, lastly, what we want to talk about this week is uh, to give you all a heads up in case you may have seen some people riding some motorized scooters around the city this past week. Uh, the city is partnering with a company known as Bird Scooters. Uh, they also do uh, bicycles as well to become one of the three Massachusetts pilot programs here with uh, Braintree and Pittsfield being the other ones to have these automated scooters here in the city. They are like the old Razor scooters that some of us may have had as kids, uh, but they've got a motor on them and they can go up to 15 miles an hour and you can ride them just like a bicycle on the roadways here. So we will be developing our city specific ordinance for those uh, vehicles, uh, the different programs to educate the public on how to use those. Uh, Bird is a company that's well established with these uh, and the uh, app that you'd have to scan in order to utilize those scooters all have different uh, educational materials onto what the city will allow if there are any no ride zones in the city where they're located and just a lot more at uh, the helmet program because if you do have the app and you are a member you actually do get a free helmet that you just have to pay the shipping costs for uh, so it really should be very exciting for the city to see here and uh, I got to try them out here as part of that demo that was here and they're a lot of fun to use so thank you very much to our economic development coordinator Jessica DeRoy and our director of community development and planning Trevor Beauregard for really undertaking that project and getting those here in the city. However, that concludes this week's update. As always, if you have any questions on anything that was said in this video, or you'd like to hear more about uh, different other projects that the city's got going on for next week's video, feel free to contact my office at any time. Thank you very much and have a great day.